Over the years, we've seen some truly memorable ads hit our TV screens. However, in today's sensitive society, it can be argued that many ads we grew up with wouldn't see the light of day today. With this in mind, here's our list of some of the most iconic ads that would certainly be banned today. How many do you remember? Yorkie, please, mate. Oh, you want a Yorkie, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad by any chance. Ah, Yorkie, the chocolate bar that wasn't for girls. A simple tongue-in-cheek slogan that stood the test of time. Until, well, it didn't. Not for girls, not for anyone anymore, it seems, as the slogan has since been dropped. Really? Yorkie. Diet Coke break. Diet Coke break. They say sex sells, and when it comes to Diet Coke, kinkiness was definitely the currency. Here's that iconic ad from Diet Coke, which proved it wasn't just men who liked to check out the opposite sex. Speaking of ladies that leer, here's another saucy entry, this time selling Levi's 501 jeans that proves that muscly men will always have an audience. Back in the 90s, you couldn't move for lager ads and Carling definitely led the charge, in this case for the sunbeds, in an advert that made fun of stereotypes back when the Germans were our footballing semi-final bogeymen. Turned out nice again. The bears catch only the tastiest, most tender salmon. Remember this advert from John West? It's the one that saw a fisherman scrapping with a bear for a tuna prize. Somehow, we can't see this one getting past the animal rights charities today. Oh, chocolate, naughty, naughty. Even though it's a recent entry and just a bit of lighthearted fun, an ad featuring flashing in the workplace would probably see Maltesers called up to HR. Better? Much better. Remember when men were allowed to be men? Talk TV remembers, and unfortunately, this style of Gillette advert is now consigned to the history books, possibly for being too manly. Oh, 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 ref, ref. Oh. Here's another confectionery ad that would fall foul of the PC brigade. In an era in which your genitals apparently don't define your gender, telling people to get some nuts is surely bound to offend, even if it's coming from perennial good guy, Mr. T. Hot now, as fun as this advert was, in hindsight, it's pretty bold to call your product the slag of all snacks. But that's just what Pot Noodle did with this CD entry from 2002. It felt so wrong and yet it felt so right. Here's another video that will raise some eyebrows, as well as something else by the looks of it. It's the art school ad from Impulse, and it's not hard to see why this might not get made today, isn't it? Hello, Tony. I think we might use a video replay here. Super, Ralph. Let's do that. It's probably one of the most iconic adverts of the 90s, and one that's permanently etched into our memory banks. But somehow we can't imagine the senses of today allowing an orange man to slap shocked consumers to sell a fizzy drink. Oh, a real orange is a jungle. On the subject of bellies, does anyone remember this bizarre ad from Reebok and the importance of exercise? Belly's gonna get you indeed. Let me tell you what bugs me about human endeavour. What about this unearthly number from Sony to shift PlayStations? File this firmly under the WTF category. Thanks for the nightmare, Sony. <laughs> and as our list concludes, let's have one more for the road, courtesy of Carling. Actually, do you know what? We're not sure we're thirsty anymore. Oh! So, there you have it, a bountiful amount of ads that probably haven't aged very well. Or have they? Are these ads just harmless fun or something that should be gone and firmly forgotten? Let us know in the comments.